last speaker for today is Grins MP Jeremy Buckingham. He's also the spokesperson for Coal Sand Gas. And while he gets up here on the Ute, I'll just direct you to the Stop uh, CSG Sydney store where you can make donations to their campaign. We're a grassroots organisation. This day has cost us money. So pull out a fiver or a tenner and put it in the bucket. Thanks. Uh, welcome, Jeremy. Thank you. I'd just like to uh, acknowledge the traditional owners and also all of you. Uh, because this movement is built on a, built on a massive constituency um, of people across the whole state, from Camperdown to Coonabarabran, from Kyogle to the Illawarra. This is, I would say, the largest social movement, the largest environmental movement we've seen in Australia, uh, probably ever, and certainly until the uh, Franklin campaign. Uh, and it's built on the fact that people like you are prepared to turn up in your thousands. And you're turning up here in Camperdown, you're turning up in places like Gurley and the Moree Plains, uh, Casino, everywhere. People are seeing this coal seam gas issue as a massive threat to their future, their water, their farmland. Uh, I'm Jeremy Buckingham and I've just been elected to New South Wales Parliament for the Greens. The first thing I did when I was elected to Parliament was travel to meet the farmers in Chinchilla. That's where this industry has touched the earth first, and it's a disaster. I went there with Drew Hutton, uh, that uh, well-known environmental campaigner, and I saw a coal seam gas well, and I thought, big deal. One coal seam gas well sitting in a paddock, how can that be going to destroy the future of, uh, of our climate, our farms, our water? But what I realised was, as I spent that week with Drew, travelling around, it was that cumulative impact. That whole, if you were looking at the world in a holistic way, and you look at the whole impact of coal seam gas, you realise that this industry will be the largest industrialisation in our history. It is a massive industry, and it is the, the, the fossil fuel industry's next jump. They're going to get out of coal, get out of oil, and get into coal seam gas. And that is the threat of this industry, the opportunity cost that it will deny us. If we go with coal seam gas, it means that money that should go to renewable, should go to wind, should go to sustainable agriculture and local, regional energy solutions will go to a massive, dirty industry that's going to destroy our environment. Now that's a, that's a terrifying picture and that is why I know you're all here. But the good news is, we are winning this campaign and that is evidence that's right we are winning this campaign and we will win this campaign because we've got no choice because if we don't it will destroy our climate and destroy our water and it, the, that is evidenced by the fact that the people behind this industry Shell, Santos, Apia, the peak body have launched a monumental advertising campaign across regional Australia and on your um, TVs. You'll see it, Santos, and they're glib, superficial rubbish. They do not deal with the, the meat and bones of this, of this industry, and that is they have no idea what they are going to do to our environment in the long term. The fugitive emissions, the pollution of the water, the crisscrossing of vast regions with pipelines, coal seam gas wells, compressor stations, polluted water ponds. So that is the, what we are fighting. That is the spin that they're putting out there. But we are winning because it's a massive constituency. As a Greens MP, I've been welcomed into regional New South Wales, thoroughbred breeders, uh, graziers, cropping farmers, organic farmers across New South Wales saying we all see this for what it really is, a massive threat. So I'm working on it every day in Parliament, I'm networking with um, my colleagues in, the, in, in Queensland and in the Federal Senate um, and it's a first order issue for the Greens. I've introduced a bill into Parliament, it's a coal seam gas moratorium bill calling it for for a complete prohibition on the industry in Sydney and a moratorium on the industry across New South Wales. And that'll be in front of Barry O'Farrell in the next two or three weeks and that'll be his, his chance to vote for us or to vote for coal seam gas. So you should be letting him know. That'll be the test. But I'll finish up there and say thank you so much. We are winning this campaign. We must win this campaign. Thank you.